As we advance along the spiritual journey, our quest deepens for a profound connection with ourselves. Those treading this path often confront an internal conflict between the wisdom of their hearts and societal or moral expectations. This struggle becomes particularly pronounced when the union involves twin flames and other partners are entwined. The potent love directed towards someone who might never be ours prompts a re-evaluation of true integrity. We ponder whether it aligns with our inner knowing, which is filled with elusive and unattainable love, or with a conventional life offering security and companionship, but leaving us spiritually lukewarm. Encountering our beloved reveals glimpses of our authentic selves. However, the realization of the transformative changes needed often propels individuals back into their familiar, albeit unsatisfactory lives. The magnitude of these changes and their repercussions on loved ones can be daunting. Consequently, some choose to idealize their existing relationships out of guilt, regardless of how dysfunctional or devoid of love they may be. Many couples falter not due to a lack of awareness about their connection, but because the revelation exposes the unkindness and deceit they've harbored within themselves and towards others. When our beloved unexpectedly withdraws, leaving us questioning the authenticity of our profound connection, it's tempting to pin hopes on them leaving their marriage. Yet true integrity necessitates allowing relationships, whether existing or potential, to unfold naturally. Engaging in infidelity, whether by ourselves or our beloved only undermines our integrity, preventing a genuine reunion, as long as we persist on such a course. The concept of living a life of integrity is often tied to external standards imposed by family, education, religion, and community. However, true integrity doesn't stem from external influences but arises by aligning with our inner self. Many mistakenly identify themselves solely by societal roles, compromising their authenticity in pursuit of love and acceptance. We should resist living others' lives, just as we shouldn't pressure our beloved to abandon existing relationships. Such actions convey a lack of trust in the universal force guiding our lives. Discovering integrity involves allowing our true selves to shine beneath layers of external expectations. It requires being true to ourselves and adhering to our moral and spiritual values from the inside out. Integrity, seen as the quality of being honest with strong moral principles, also denotes a state of being whole and undivided. Therefore, prioritizing integrity becomes crucial for those seeking spiritual union. For those facing the dilemma of being in a relationship with a married twin, maintaining honesty and integrity without causing division or pain can be challenging. Clarity often emerges after delving deep into oneself, uncovering one's true identity. Committing to living with integrity empowers us to embody our truth fully, align our actions with our hearts, and gain clarity about the best way to communicate our truth to others. It becomes easier to navigate change when we know who we are and where we're headed. While the connection with our beloved need not dismantle other relationships, it often brings existing issues to the surface. Fully integrating the intense love for our beloved into our lives becomes essential for genuine integrity. Spiritual merging and unity with our beloved on a profound level alter the dimension of integrity. The inner conflict between acknowledging the real connection and maintaining disconnected actions becomes challenging to sustain. The decision to align with our truth often leads to personal wholeness and a departure from karmic relationship cycles, opening the possibility of experiencing sacred union as intended by a higher power. While it may not always be feasible, choosing solitude to allow love to flow freely may be preferable to blocking the energy that inspires selfless contributions to humanity and a deeper connection with the divine. Ending my marriage. On a personal note, 
My connection with my beloved spanned over four years before I encountered my husband, despite a brief reunion, he consistently chose to remain in his marriage, compelling me to relinquish my desire for a relationship with him to a higher power. When I married, I was deeply in love with my husband, envisioning a lifetime together. However, the intense love and shared history with my twin made it impossible to integrate our friendship into my new life, prompting me to keep him at a distance. It was only eight years later, amidst the dissolution of my marriage for unrelated reasons, that I recognized how I had used my marriage as a means to escape the profound connection and my beloved's perceived rejection. Around the fifth year of my marriage, I realized its inevitable demise, yet it took an additional three years to gather the courage to leave. During this period, I came to understand that my husband never truly knew or loved the authentic me, given our vast differences in inner lives and values. The inner pull to embrace my true self intensified in the final years of my marriage, Conflicting with the life I led, I felt compelled to either yield to this inner calling or risk spiritual, if not physical, death. Despite attempts at personal growth within my marriage, we were a mismatch on a vibrational level, primarily established for starting a family. Eventually, I grasped that pursuing the truth of my heart was essential regardless of its impact on my marriage. The process of separation seemed daunting, and I initially avoided addressing the subject of divorce. Past experiences, including a previous relationship that ended in violence, instilled fear, even though my husband differed significantly from my ex. The mounting pressure to leave became unbearable, being in the same room with my husband drained me energetically. While his frequent absence contributed to the breakdown of our marriage, it prolonged the separation process. The emotional freedom technique, EFT, provided a release, allowing me to express my desires confidently and calmly to my husband. Surprisingly, his kind and calm reaction contrasted sharply with my expectations, marking the beginning of the separation journey. Several conversations ensued, but my husband resisted moving out, and with three young children, leaving without a clear destination seemed impossible. Recognizing that divine intervention wouldn't precipitate the separation, I received guidance to be patient and prepared discreetly. Organizing finances, packing belongings, and selling items on eBay became part of the preparatory process, unbeknownst to me. My beloved also received a similar directive, initiating a parallel preparation for a simpler life. The final six months of my marriage witnessed the return of my beloved into my life through emails. Despite the temptation to indulge in fantasies of a shared future, I understood the importance of focusing on my journey. By spring, the challenges at home escalated, prompting contemplation on the right time to leave. Guided by the inner voice, I practiced patience despite mounting pressure. When the moment arrived, it was unmistakable, the urgency from spirit propelled me forward, leaving me no choice but to pack my children into the car and drive away. Thus, my marriage came to an end. Nearly six months have passed, and while I grapple with the aftermath of the separation, I am progressing toward embodying my highest truth. The emotional and spiritual growth achieved during this period has been transformative, impossible to attain with my husband's energy around. Although I didn't leave my marriage for anyone, particularly my beloved, our connection has deepened since the separation. While acknowledging his encouraging words, I perceive them as internal validation rather than promises of a future together. The future remains uncertain, but I anticipate the unfolding of this journey with excitement. Seeking true integrity within oneself brings peace and resolves the restlessness of unanswered questions. Living a purposeful, loving, and abundant life is our inherent gift. For me, embracing absolute truth 
integrity, and love within myself is synonymous with being with my twin, allowing this love to flow freely is being with him, I have faith that if we are meant to be together, it will happen, in the meantime, I am content, liberated, and whole.